Hi there, I'm Kirk Harnack, and I'm at the Twit Cottage in Petaluma, California, where we're installing a brand new Axia audio system. Stay tuned as we show you how this whole thing goes together. All of the devices that are on an Axia IP audio network have a web server. You can just take a browser, browse to the IP address of that device, and see how to configure it and set it up. Some of the things you may notice about this is it's actually running Linux 2.6.17.14 at the moment. Now, this driver looks to Windows just like any sound card driver. Windows is going to think that it has another sound card installed in it. So any of the audio applications in Windows can be told to use this driver, which again Windows thinks is a physical sound card. Indeed, it's not a physical sound card. It's a driver that takes the audio from an audio playback program and it sends them out the network interface. So the computer has two network interfaces, one's a USB, and that's handling the, the low duty, that's handling the Skype side, and then the internal one is handling the Axie IP audio, which is coming out at 5 megabits per second, non-stop, ever. If you do uh, one show in the studio and Leo does another show in the studio, but they're quite different in how many skype sources there are or how many guests you have, things like that, uh, we can have different profiles set up. The profiles can also move the motorized faders into position on the console, so you're just ready to go when you want to do a show. Oh, look! Extra stuff right there? What is this? Ha yeah! <laughs> it hides so much complexity. Yeah. So I think Sarah can come in and just sit down and say, Oh, well, I turn on my mic and turn it up. And that's all you would need to know. And yet there's so much going on. They automatically register all these audio devices when they're hooked up. So these are all the different audio inputs. So I assign an audio input to it and then I'll save that app and that becomes a profile. You do the profile for each of the 18 faders and I can have multiple profiles so I can say okay this is uh, the Twit profile which he's actually setting up right now. Well, what we were doing was we were getting digital, converting it to audio, putting it into a, a analog, or to analog, into an analog mixer, mixing it, then saving it out of digital again. So this time we're not doing that. We're, we're, we're staying, so Skype for instance is completely digital end to end. Right. And what's nice is it's much cleaner. Well, we're done here at the Twit Cottage. The Axia stuff is installed, the Telos gear is connected to it, many channels of Omnia processing. It's great, and Leo's gonna love it. Hey, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching us put together the Twit Cottage.